information content. I'd also throw in a counter argument for Inga sometimes. She knows the museum is there, but she's just forgotten the number where it's on, and she looks it up in Google as a reminder. But the differentiator here would be knowledge versus information. Can you comment on this? Yeah, I don't know if you're understanding that distinction the same way that I would. I would agree that, not, that Otto has the knowledge. I would also agree that, no, that Otto has the information. Um, I think Otto has the information that the museum is on 53rd Street in virtue of his relation to his notebook. He also, you said he has the knowledge that there is a museum. Well, I agree he has that without relying on the notebook. The crucial question is always, does he have the knowledge that the museum is on 53rd Street? Here, I think you might be tempted to say no. I'd say at this point, you're being conservative and you're endorsing that, uh, that, Cartesian, that Cartesian viewpoint. What I'm trying to do is to argue for a view, even where at the level of, at the level of knowledge, Otto should be understood as knowing that the museum is on 53rd Street, because this notebook is actually playing a role, not just in his information, but in his, but in his knowledge. Maybe not his conscious knowledge, maybe not his conscious understanding, but still part of his background knowledge system, all the same. All right, we really need to move on. Let's give David a very